All right, hey guys, so today I'm going to be checking out a game called Eternity, The Last Unicorn. Sometimes I like diving into indie games, even though this game does have pretty nice graphics because it was made in the Unreal Engine, it does remind me of like old PS2 type RPGs or like old console RPGs that generally get looked over. Um, but in this game, you're in like a fantasy world and there's elves and the elves were given like four unicorns to grant them immortality and then the witches came and like killed some of the unicorns and you're like one of the last elves and you're trying to free uh, this unicorn here. Um, its horn was broken and I don't really even know but uh, basically it's a very fantasy story about trying to save the last unicorn. Um, but yeah, it's the gameplay is quite strange as well. Um, the gameplay reminds me a little bit of Dark Souls in many ways. So the first thing you do is you get this flask and then you can absorb energy from like fallen fallen creatures and you get um, points that you can use to purchase stuff at the shop a little bit later on. So I'm going to try to play up until the first boss. Uh, I'm not saying that this game is great or anything, far from it. It actually has some pretty bad reviews on Steam. I can kind of understand why. Um, I think the environments look good and the soundtrack is great, but the um, the combat is very much lacking, as you can probably already tell. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through this tutorial. It's essentially a hack and slash. You can't block, all you can do is dodge. Here's my special attack. Use your special attack whenever you fill the meter. Doesn't happen very often. And you pick up these little resources. So that was a healing orb. Gotta open the inventory and equip that. Let's go ahead and uh, do that and that and use the healing. And we also got some sort of rune that improves my damage. Let's go over here, let's break some pots. One thing that's also quite strange to me is it doesn't really tell you where to go or what to do. Um, the first time I played this game, I had no idea what I was doing. A lot of the uh, chests and stuff are locked. Uh, a lot of uh, pathways are blocked by gates and so forth. Uh, there's a hidden item over here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Another herb. Herb. I don't know if you pronounce that herb, like with an H sound, or herb, you just, like a silent H. I'm pretty, su pretty sure it's a silent H, um, but I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we're going to a different area now. <clears throat> Gonna be fighting some more enemies and slowly progressing through the game. I do think the soundtrack is fantastic, and the soundtrack is completely free if you decide to purchase the game, which is quite nice. Little collectible items here. This lake is very similar to those in Alfheim. The water looks magical. This reminds me of like old, old games. I really don't like how the enemies just spawn in front of you as well. When you leave an area, they do spawn back, which I just find kind of kind of annoying. by something there. I don't even know I could hit by. So these little uh, materials that we're picking up is important for making like healing items and crafting other stuff a little bit later on. Uh, so this area will be important a little bit later on. So I need to go this way. Let's go ahead and kill this creature. It's weird that it can hit me without even really making an attack animation, but it's fine. Alright, so we're gonna go over here, get some more shards. The shard system is kind of strange too. A scroll containing information. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the scroll does. Probably nothing. Uh, yeah, that just seems like a lore piece. So there's a campfire, just like in uh, Dark Souls, you have to save the game at the campfires. What just happened? That's weird. Mistletoe. 
They're tree turtles. So even though it doesn't show it, I can level up. And after this fight, I should get to level two. I should be close to it. But it's just a hack and slash. There's a weak attack and a strong attack. The strong attack is a little bit slower. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go this way. Let's pick up whatever this is. An empty flask. So this is the first, like, I guess you would call it like a side quest, I guess. But it's part of the main game. It says, hey you, water, cough, cough. So now we need to backtrack, and if you remember, we were at that river with a boat. Um, we have to backtrack <coughs> and fill the flask with water. Before I do that, I guess I might as well save, just in case. Go ahead and open this chest too. Some chests are locked, some aren't. I really don't understand why. Uh, this is a basically a crystal that we can break to get the red shards. We'll be able to use those red shards at the... Um, at the shop momentarily but first thing I want to do is backtrack the first time I played this game it took me forever to figure out how to do that quest because if you remember when we went to the little canoe thing it didn't really say anything about getting water and I don't know I guess if you don't read it read the dialogue it's very easy to miss things and then it, there's a lot of backtracking involved I, I don't know why there's so much backtracking but anyways I gotta go back this way Cross the log and then go down into the river. It's also kind of easy to miss this river as well. The camera angles are quite strange. I'm not sure why the camera doesn't follow the player. Again, just little things like that just make me think of old games. I remember like like the older Final Fantasy games, they just had these weird camera angles in certain areas and just like static backgrounds and stuff. But there we go, we got what we needed. I'm just gonna bypass these enemies, not really that big of a deal. They might chase after me though. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I can talk to the goblin without getting killed here, so I'm just gonna kill this guy. Ouch. Yeah, you're dead. Sometimes the enemies do drop like healing um, shards, I guess. But this is the shopkeeper, this little goblin. And we're going to purchase, we really need to purchase a rune, but we need 500 for that. Might save up a little bit to get the rune. Uh, the first boss is insanely difficult and we're getting, we're getting almost to it. <laughs> getting closer. I'm gonna kill a couple more of these little weak guys. Ouch, holy crap, did a lot of damage. I might die. Oh shoot, I almost died there. I need to equip uh, more healing items. I haven't, I guess I forgot to do that. All right, as you can see there, I did heal a little bit from that enemy. Sometimes they drop the red shards, sometimes they drop the green shards, green ones heal you. Sometimes they drop nothing, they just give you like an item. As you can see in the top right corner, I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but there's like some sort of dragon just sitting on a rock. Uh, I think that just for decoration. <laughs> it was kind of cool though. All right, so I have my special attack ready. I'm gonna use it on these enemies up here. There's like a goblin wizard, which is kind of strong. I'm just gonna kill them very quickly so I don't lose health. So I leveled up, although it doesn't really tell you um, anything. It doesn't tell you like if you got stat points, if there's character progression or anything. I found out if you go into the options menu and go to character info, you can see your attack power and uh, other stuff as well. So um, it also tells you how much experience you need, but every time you kill an enemy, it doesn't tell you how much experience you're getting. So I feel like it's all arbitrary. I don't know, it's kind of strange. So this is a giant tree minotaur. <laughs> and he teaches you how to craft stuff. So I'm just gonna skip through the dialogue. It's really not that important. He basically just says he hasn't seen an elf in a long time. And he shows you that you can craft uh, healing herbs. Herbs. There we go, hold A. There we go. You can also craft this emblem. We also need to craft the other emblem, which we need to get from the guy who required water. I, <laughs> I actually forgot to go back to him, so we need to go back and do that real quick. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, the graphics are nice. Again, this was made in the Unreal Engine, and usually most games in the Unreal Engine do have nice graphics, although, um, doesn't necessarily mean the game is that great. Uh, if you're into, like, old-school RPGs, kind of like, uh, like, what was it called? Bard's, Bard's Tale? I remember that was on, like, the PS2, and that was a pretty good one. Um, you might find this to be enjoyable. I don't know how to get that item up there on that pillar, by the way. I, I don't really understand why it's up there. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go to this guy. He's gonna give us that last crafting component that we need to make the second piece of the gate key, basically. Blah, 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 blah. Also, for, for a game that's made in 2019, even if it's an indie RPG, I really feel like they should invest a little bit of money into voice acting. I feel like it kind of brings characters to life a little bit. Um, I don't think, I don't know, it might just be my opinion, but most people are not going to read through uh, like hefty amounts of dialogue. Um, so yeah, we're going to go back to the giant creature over here. We're going to get what we need and um, come back. And there's something following me still. You can probably hear it scattering like, scattering around. I can't move the camera. There's no camera movement whatsoever. I think later on you get a bow. Alright, so now we can enter the mine. The mine's kind of cool. But I'm really eager to show you guys the first boss, because it is absolutely ridiculous how strong the first boss is. I mean, here, let's go ahead and kill him. Ouch. Again, there's no blocking at all. So I'm just going to quickly go to the gobble. What the heck is that guy? What the? I guess they were following me. I don't even think they can attack me right now. I think they went out of their, um, out of their zone. I want to talk to this guy. Can I not talk to him while in combat? <clears throat> ha! 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 The tree turtles have way too much health. There we go. So I wanted to buy this rune, but that's way too much. So I'm just gonna... Mm, restore his half health. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these. And maybe I'll be able to kill the, um, the first boss. If I can't kill the first boss, I'm just going to, um, call it quits. Also, I need to equip this into my quick slot. There we go. And I can heal. So now we backtrack once again, and this little thing here is where we put that item we crafted, the emblem, and that is how you get to the first little dungeon. So yeah, I really wasn't, I didn't really know what to expect when buying this game. It looked kind of charming from the trailers and stuff, but I really didn't know it was a Dark Souls game. <laughs> I kind of wish it would, uh, would have told me that. I was looking for more of just like a casual RPG. This game is actually kind of difficult, and if you die, you do get reset to your last save, which can be really far away. I really don't even need to be picking up these items since I'm not planning on playing this for too long. There's a chest over there. I have no idea how to get to that chest. So there's just a lot of like pathways that are not really available, at least not at the beginning. I find it just kind of annoying. Although I didn't really play too much of Dark Souls. I played the beginning of Dark Souls 1 and that was about it. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm poisoned. I'm not sure if I'm losing health or not or if it's just making my screen kind of strange looking. Let's go over here, let's use our Flask. The shards. Spiders. 
Kind of reminds me of the first dungeon in Skyrim. Remember the spider boss is kind of cool. I'm just like spamming the X button over and over again. You like spam the X button? Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Oh shit, okay. Heal, heal, heal up. Oh, that did like nothing. Oh no, run away. Heal up again. Ah, run away, come on. I might die, I'm gonna die. I died. Shit, I died. I'm gonna have to come all the way back over here. Alright, so I'm back to where I died. Hopefully I won't die this time. Man, it's, it's really annoying. Like, see how much health I lose? So I guess you're just supposed to keep, like, dodging every time... Oh my god. You are invincible while doing executions. Oh my god, I got hit by picking up an item? That's not fair. I'm gonna die again. Oh. Alright, I got some health from killing my spider. Got lucky there. Alright, <laughs> on to the next part of the game. Alright, I got some more herbs. Let's go ahead and heal up. I guess it's heal up again. Alright, so that's full health. So there's a little contraption over here, I think. Oh wait, no, it's over here. We gotta pull this lever and then we have to sprint to the next area. And there's these swinging blades. Again, very similar to Skyrim, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god. Oh, the enemies can go through the blades, but I can't? Alright, that makes sense. Ouch. Oh, I didn't make it in time. Shit. Okay. Alright, come here, you stupid. They remind me of the, uh, like, the, the Draugrs or whatever. I forgot what the name was in Skyrim. Alright, so we gotta do this again. Got a healing potion. Alright, so now that that enemy's not there, I should be able to make it through. And then after this is where we fight the first boss. to increase your health bar. Alright, so this is a little puzzle. Basically, you go like simplest to most complex. And gate opened. Not sure what this is. Ashes of Viking Warrior, there's nothing I can do about it. It is like glowing though. There's like an axe there too. Alright, so this is Durin. He gives me he gives me something. I don't know. An elven leaf. A leaf it restores half of your health. I also have this elixir of the gods. It can it restores my health to full. I guess I'll quick slot that for now. And I guess I can't get the axe. There's a bunch of spiders on the wall. <laughs> kind of odd. But again, it requires you to backtrack. Uh, there's a lot of backtracking in this game. Fortunately, the like pendulums have stopped, and now we fight the first boss. 
Not even in like a... Not even in like a place where you expect to fight a boss. He just like comes out of nowhere. <laughs> And the boss like fights are very, very similar to Dark Souls, where you're supposed to like hit them a couple times and then dodge. I got to dodge. Oh crap! I already got hit. I got to dodge out of the way. Oh, I did a double hit. Crap! I was lucky. Okay, dodge out of the way. Ah, oh, I'm gonna die. All right, I need to get out of here and heal up. I am making some big mistakes. Almost died. All right. So he swings twice usually, and then you hit him like a couple times, and then you backtrack, and he swings twice, three times. One, two, three. Backtrack again. One, two. So it's basically about just learning his animations. But look at how much health he has. Oh, now he's powering up? Are you kidding me? I don't know if he does more damage now. He probably does. Oh, he has a bunch of too. Swing, swing. Ouch. Alright, I wasn't sure if the enemies actually stop when you go into a screen like that. I'm gonna heal up again. Ouch! Jesus Christ, okay. I need to go back over here. Uh, let's go ahead and equip these. We'll do a little bit more healing. I could try like a strong attack, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got knocked down. Greatest boss fight ever. <laughs> he has so much health. Defeated. Did that do anything? Oh wait, I think I got the key. Uh, a rope. An old rope. It looks sturdy enough to be used. So maybe I'm supposed to backtrack and use the rope for something? I really don't know. Again, this is like the type of game that doesn't really tell you where to go or what to do or where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do, so... I'm kind of lost, and I know some people enjoy these type of games, but I feel like there's quite a few issues that, I don't know. Wait, can maybe, maybe I can use the rope over here. Let me just check. Can I use the rope? <laughs> no. So I guess I'm going to have to backtrack once again and figure out where I'm supposed to use a rope at, because that's what I got from the Durin guy. Um, yeah, that's just a quick look at Eternity, um, the last unicorn. Uh, can I not leave this place? Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> what? 
it doesn't let me leave the area? So am I supposed to use the rope for something? Hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play a little bit longer because I'm kind of curious now where the heck I'm supposed to use this rope. Maybe I wasn't supposed to backtrack. Should have read the dialogue. <laughs> Maybe the guy needed a rope to get out. Uh, run all the way back. But yeah, I was really surprised at how difficult the first boss was. Like, he has so much freaking health. And you can die so easily. As you saw, I was chugging down health potions this entire time. That entire time. Alright, so maybe this guy... No? No, okay. Well, I have absolutely no idea what to do. I can't escape from this place, I guess. I don't know. I'm just confused. So... Yeah, that is Eternity, The Last Unicorn. If you like Dark Souls games, you might give it a try, although it is quite expensive. It's like $15 currently. I think it's $20 retail. So uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.